Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we have been working through many of the Husqvarna Viking sewing machines and doing a video on every page of the manual. We've done emeralds, we've done opals, topazes, ruby, and we are finally to the Husqvarna Viking designer Diamond Royale. Now, if you have a regular diamond or a diamond deluxe, you're gonna find these videos are going to be helpful for you. So this just happens to be the latest model and this is the one we're doing because it is awesome. So what I'm gonna do first is actually take you through what comes in with the machine and then we're gonna start to go through like how to get your accessories put in your box, how to get it threaded, how to put the bobbin in, how to pick your stitches, how to do embroidery, everything you need to know about this machine. So hang on because there's gonna be over a hundred videos just on this machine to give you just that. Now they're gonna be short videos, so it's gonna be really easy to find what you're looking for. So if you need to do buttonholes, you can just scroll down until you find buttonholes and watch just that small segment. I think that's a great option so then you're not sorting through so many minutes of videos upon videos. So let's get in and see what comes with the machine. So this machine has been um, packed up, you're going to find along the side is a little, a long triangular accessory box. In here is going to be everything you need. So from power cord to a USB stick is in the pink pack. There's a buttonhole foot that roams around here. So make sure you carefully open this and then find all the accessory packs. So there's an, uh, um, all your accessories. There is a USB cord. A walking foot. Now this particular model, the Diamond Royale, does come with a walking foot with the ex uh, exchangeable feet. So that is a very expensive foot and they do put that in this machine. You're also going to find your manual in here and your warranty information. So keep that all kind of close by. And down beside the machine is gonna be one more booklet. This is your, all your designs for the embroidery machine that comes with it, so this is awesome. There's also designs in there that are built into the machine, and then you have other designs that you need to download from Husqvarna Vikings website. You'll need a code from your dealer, and then that way you can um, download those. So make sure you check with your local Husqvarna Viking dealer for that. Okay, so here comes the machine. It's got a case and everything, so I love that it's a hard case. So you do want to take that. And the foot control is kind of sitting down on the side. Um, foot control is retractable, which I love. And then just a little pop will put it back in so you're not having to wrap that up all the time here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just get this lifted out and we'll put it on the table. Gonna have styrofoam on both sides here. So just slide these off and we are ready to go. So there is your sewing machine part of it. Now, when you bought this, you got two boxes. You got your sewing machine box and then you also have your embroidery box. So I'm gonna slide this aside and then I'm gonna show you what's inside the other box. Okay, so in this box, it, there is actually uh, some very unique pieces that you want to realize what they are and don't throw them away. So with the top of line sewing machine, you are going to get a zippered red carrying case. Now you can purchase the roller bag that matches this and but your embroidery unit will fit in this of course when you go to class you can just put the hard case over the sewing machine but if you like the ability to roll it into class with you you can purchase the roller base for it and like i said it all matches and then this part here slides over the handles that you know you pull up and you pull with you so this is really nice but you notice it's all floppy and flimsy and that is because the black styrofoam piece oh by the way what's also inside that bag is your uh, you get three embroidery hoops. The middle size is tucked inside this. Just when I pulled it out, it kind of fell down here. So what I'm gonna do is lift this up. So you see all the pieces. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to just lay this down here. This part here, you're going to take and you can put it back in your box. What you want to do, the embroidery unit's going to lift out. So you've got a few other things in here, some, uh, an accessory pack. You've got some fabric, some stabilizer, some thread, scissors, and a few other things in there. We'll go over. And as you bring your embroidery unit out, now if you have this red clip, your dealer might have pulled it out for you, what we do at our store, but you cannot embroider with this red clip in. So first thing I do is squeeze that and pull it out. You don't really need it, but it's in there for packing and shipping. So if you want to, just throw it back in your box here. So your embroidery unit, notice that how nice it fits. This black piece is actually the housing that fits in the red zippered bag. So don't throw this out. You're gonna wedge this into the zippered bag and then when you travel, that's what protects the embroidery unit and it all sits in here perfectly. So I'm gonna just show you what else is down here. At the bottom, there is your other two hoops, your smaller one, from the one you've already seen and your bigger one. So you have a 360 by 200 hoop, a 120 by 120, and a 200 by 260 hoop is the other one. So you have kind of a small, medium, and large, and they all fit down in this um, box for when you transport things. So definitely um, enjoy your machine, and I will see you as we start in on every part of this machine imaginable that you can do and embroider.